What is up, everybody? It's Watonio, man. We back with another video, bro. Now, Babyface Ray recently just dropped his newest project, Face. He actually dropped it last night. And I was going to do this review of the project last night, but, you know, a nigga was just too tired, bro. That is school because nobody was teaching that. Oh, fuck! Um. I decided I'm going to go ahead and get up early for y'all. Go ahead and do it. Um, it is currently 10, uh, 04 at the moment that I'm recording this video. So, you know, it's not that early, but you know, it's kind of early for me, you feel me? But, but you know, whatever the case. But we about to get into this review, man. First song we got, man, it's called Needed Some Love. I like the visual uh, art, too. I can't even front. I'm needing some love. I'm needing some drugs. I'm needing a crutch. You can't hold me down. You hold me up. I'm a counter pile. She rolling me one. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Started out on some smooth love type shit. You feel me? I'm feeling this record so far. I'm needing some love. I can't even front. I'm needing some love. All right, man. That was cool. That would need some love. It was short. You know what I'm saying? It was short and sweet. You feel me? It was a nice little smooth little record for the ladies, is what I'm guessing. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too much. It wasn't too hype. It wasn't too crazy. But it was a good little, you know, start out to the project, I guess you could say. So he did not upload this project in order on his Instagram, so that actually was not the first song. But it don't really matter, so we about to move on to the next one. This record right here is called Cushion Cocaine. Look pretty interesting, like it's gonna sound dope, so let's click on that real quick. Like the beat already sounds like some tropical shit, bro. He going for that tropical Scarface vibe with this one, I can already tell. This sounds like a great big pussy, yes. Wait to get fucked up. <laughs> Lamborghini truck, trap house wish. I step in a blue bag. I see bitches blowing kisses. Right? Shit, this shit sounding real hard, bro. This shit sounding real hard. This sound like one of those songs that they need to be playing on uh, BMF or one of the 50 Cent shows. You know what I'm saying? That's what this sound like one of them records to trap to type shit. You feel me? This sound like. He all in Cuba somewhere chopping up bricks of cocaine. I know the song called Cushion Cocaine, but that's that he really giving off that vibe with this, with this, especially with the beat, man. He said it cost to be the boss, I then paid it twice. Oh! Somebody, oh! He needs some milk! Man, talking crazy, man. This record, I'm already feeling this record. This record might be one of my favorites so far just because how smooth it is. It got that little tropical Cuban. Cuba vibe, like he out there, out there in the island somewhere. That one is definitely gonna be saved to my playlist though, for sure, for sure. Now, one thing I do like about this project, man, so far, is the beat selection that he chose for a lot of these records, man. The beat selection is dope. Continue to keep with the beats. Like I said, man, this record is called Tunnel Vision, bro, so let's get right into it. Vision ain't expect me to less. I put 40 in each pocket and the rest in the bag. Too alert, it's hard to snake and leave you left in the grass. They say he too alert. It's hard to snake him. Leave you left in the grass, man. Yeah, I'm feeling this record so far. This is a nice little motivational, get you on your grind type of record right here, man. Like I said, tunnel vision, man. Y'all gotta keep stay focused, man. Niggas out here trying to distract you, bro. Y'all gotta stay in your lane. Keep going, man. Cause niggas gonna try to, you know, say knock you off your path. But shit, keep going, man. This record, though, I like this record a lot. This is another one that I'm definitely gonna be saving to my uh, playlist on my Apple Music, man, for sure. Next record, man, Steak and Lobster. Now, this sound like some Detroit shit, man. This definitely sounds like some Detroit shit, so we about to check out Steak and Lobster, man. <laughs> what I tell you? You hear that beat, bro? What I tell you? This some Detroit shit, bro. I knew it. I just knew it by the title. You hear that beat? It kind of got that, like, uh, West Coast vibe to it a little bit, too. A little bop to it, like the little Bay, Bay Area vibe to it a little bit, too. But it's, like, still Detroit at the same time. Up all night, I can't even sleep. How would shit be if you were still here? Pain running deep, I can't even show it. Don't tell them about your feelings, don't nobody care. Fucking crazy already, man. Hold on. Man, I hate being alone. Got a nigga hold me. Creeping on the low. Probably wouldn't never say a word if I was broke. Oh, you heard that, man? You heard that, bro? Probably would never say a word if I was broke. He's saying some little, some little quotable lines, bro. Like he's saying, like that's what I'm noticing about this uh, so far about this project. He's saying a lot of quotable shit. Like y'all notice I've been repeating stuff because a lot of that stuff is like quotable shit that could be captions. Like 
know what I'm saying? If I was posting some shit on Instagram, if I need a caption, bro, I'm coming straight to this project. I'm gonna listen for a minute. I'm gonna be like, oh, ooh, that's a, that's a dope ass caption right there. This is probably the hardest song so far, bro. Steak and Lobster. I knew it was gonna be the hardest because this sound like the most Detroit song on the project. You know what I'm saying? When you from Detroit, bro, you know what I'm saying? That sound stand out to you the most because that's, you know, that's our shit. You feel me? So I, I feel like this was gonna be. A dope ass record. So far it is. So far this the hardest. It's just my favorite one so far, man. Yeah, I want to end off on a banger. So I'm ending off on a banger with sincerely face. Hopefully this record is hype. You feel me? Let's get to it. Now I can sit and tell you about the diamonds on my chest like everything was easy. Spoke the fat boy the other day. Say still getting money. What's new? All my latest problems come from bitches. So you know I had to cut them all good. Hard, 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 hard. This shit hard as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Nah, this, like I said, bro, this is a very, very different project from what, I, what I'm used to from Babyface Ray. Like, oh, fuck with a boat, don't sound nothing like this. You know what I'm saying? The trill Trillers don't sound nothing like this. Miami, you know what I'm saying? Season don't sound nothing like this. This is a whole new uh, bag that uh, Babyface Ray is in. I don't, I'm trying to think, is Babyface Ray signed? You know what I'm saying? Let me look that up real quick. Uh, I guess he's not signed to no major label. He got his own label, Wavy Gang, and he probably he got. I'm pretty sure he got a partnership deal with Empire, but it don't like he signed to them like that. But let me get my overall thoughts on this project, man. So, all in all, I feel like this project is one of his best projects. Like I'm talking about, period. I'm talking about better than Unfuckable, better than Trillis, better than Mia Season, um, all that. Like. This is the best, most well put, put together project that uh, Face has ever put together, bro. Like, from the cover art to the production value to the features. He got Wiz Khalifa on here, man. I don't think no Detroit rapper or any, you know, rapper from the city has had, like, artists like that on a project. You know what I'm saying? We've seen Filthy Rich and stuff like that, Yo Gotti and all them artists. But Wiz Khalifa is, like, a different caliber of artist to have on your project. You know what I'm saying? So... This project definitely stands on its own, man. This is definitely, in my opinion, already a classic. It's gonna be a classic. It's up there. It's possible for it to be a classic because it's already, I'm fucking arm starting to hurt. Ugh. But it's up there, man. Like it's up there, bro. It's up there, ready to be, ready to be a classic. You feel me? Um, yeah, man. I'm ready to see the videos, the visuals, all the you know the new stuff, he, more stuff he got coming. But you know that'll pretty much wrap this whole video up, man. Let me know what do y'all think about this project, man. What's y'all favorite song? Comment below your favorite song below this video, man. Like I said, make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Follow the Instagram at CM Culture so you can stay up to date with new posts and videos every single day.